Okay, this has to be one of the more confusing demos that I've made, even though it seems pretty simple to set up. What I have here is a glass tube that's filled with a sugar solution, so just sugar and water. There is a white light that gives me unpolarized light, and then I have two polarizing filters, one at the beginning of the tube and one at the end. And this really simple setup results in a very strange and beautiful phenomenon. What we have over here is a helical rainbow barber pole-like structure of the light as it passes through this tube. But why does this simple setup result in this very complex and beautiful pattern? Well, first let's talk about what polarization means. Light that comes from this source is unpolarized, meaning the plane of the light waves are going in all different directions. But when it enters this polarizing filter, this forces the light that goes through to be in the same direction. So now these electromagnetic waves are, are wiggling in the same direction. So all of the light that comes out of this filter is now polarized in the same direction. The light travels down this tube and interacts with the sugar molecules that are inside of the solution. Now sugar is an optically active material, which means that when it interacts with light, it changes the polarization of that light. And due to sugar's helical structure, so dextrose is a helical molecule, molecule um, when light scatters off of it, its angle of polarization will also change because of this helical structure. And the amount that this angle will change actually depends on the color of light that's going through it. White light is a combination of all different colors, so the incident light is actually a combination of all colors of the rainbow. And so these colors get separated out as they travel down this tube, depending on the angle of their polarization. Blue light has an angle of polarization that is rotated more because its wavelength is smaller, and red light, which has a longer wavelength, is rotated a little bit less. And let's see what these polarizing filters do. These polarizing filters change the angle of polarization. And if I change the angle of the incident polarization, what do you expect is gonna to happen to this tube? And what do you expect is gonna to happen to the light that comes out of the tube on the other side, on this poster over here? Well, let's see what happens. I'm gonna rotate this polarizing filter, which will rotate the angle of polarization. And we see a couple of really interesting things happen. One is, we see this whole helix start to rotate down this tube. And that's because the incident angle of polarization has now changed. So the amount by which it rotates will be offset, right? And we also see that the light that comes out at the end of the tube has also changed its angle of polarization, meaning its wavelength. And I can do the same to this end of the tube. I can just change the angle of polarization of the exit polarizer, which should change the color that comes out onto this poster board. The polarizer only admits certain angles of polarization, which are in line with the angle of the polarizer. And since the polarization angle is related to, to the wavelength, that means only certain colors are allowed to come through. Pretty interesting. It's not immediately clear to me why the helical structure of dextrose or sucrose results in this phenomenon. Like, what is it about the interaction between light and this helical molecule results in this strange polarization phenomenon? It's certainly something to explore, but it's definitely a really beautiful phenomenon.